Hello and welcome to module one of dance music production for beginners. In this module we're going to look at how to create a dance drum beat using live. We're going to start by loading up the live set for module one which you downloaded from the Sonic Academy website along with this tutorial. When the session view opens we can see both an audio and a MIDI track ready to use. In this lesson we will be using MIDI only so we can click on the audio track and hit the delete button to remove it. Ok we're now going to access the samples and start making some music. We can find the browser window on the left hand side of the screen. The three numbered windows allow us to access any area on the hard drive of the computer. By clicking on the top bar we can choose the file location that we want to access. Your downloaded samples can be found on your computer desktop so we can double click on the folder and have a look at what sounds we have to work with. To preview the samples we simply activate the headphone icon and click on the sample name. Now we need a drum machine to allow us to play these sounds. All the instruments are found in the devices browser window and the one we're looking for is Impulse, which is the name for Live's drum machine. To load the machine, all we do is drag and drop it onto the empty MIDI track. This loads the machine into the instrument rack at the bottom. The Impulse machine has 8 slots available for individual samples, so we can have 8 drums loaded into this instrument. Now we load the drums by simply dragging and dropping each sample into the next available slot. If you want to preview each sample, just click on the play icon on each slot. Ok, so there you go, now that we've got all our samples loaded we can actually start making some beats. Let's start by double clicking on any empty grid space in our MIDI track and creating a one bar MIDI loop. Now our instrument rack has changed to a MIDI clip window. To move back and forth between these two windows, we simply click on the small tabs at the bottom of the screen. We are now going to set the grid size within our clip so that we can input different beat lengths to make a complete rhythm. If we make sure we have clicked inside the grid and press Ctrl click or right click on the mouse, the pop-up menu allows us to select a grid size of different lengths. For example, if we set a grid size of 1 over 4, we will only be able to choose 4 different rhythm spaces for our beats. The higher the amount of spaces, the more beats we can input, and the more interesting our rhythms will be. We want to select a fixed grid size of 16 So this is a good point to save our session to keep our work safe. Select Save Live Set As from the File menu and choose a destination for the session and a name for the file. Let's save our track to the desktop. Now we're going to activate Draw Mode, which will turn the cursor into a pencil and allows us to input the beats into the clip window. First we can input some kick drum sounds on every beat within the bar by clicking on an empty grid space. We can hear what this sounds like by clicking the play icon on the clip in the MIDI track. It's also a good point at this stage to reduce the volume on your impulse. To stop playback, click any of the stop icons below it or the master stop icon at the bottom of the track. Next up we're going to program in some clap sounds. These can normally happen at the same time as the second and fourth kick drums in the bar. Open hi-hats can be dropped in between every kick drum and closed hi-hats can be dropped on every eight. Extra percussion can be placed anywhere within the beat to make different types of sounds, but for now we're going to place some here.
At this point if we deactivate draw mode we can move any MIDI note up, down, left or right to create different rhythms within the beat. We can also solo each sample by clicking here or mute them by clicking here. If we listen to the beat we can hear that some sounds are louder than others and we want to fix that to create a more uniform sound for the whole drum track. If we click on each individual drum we can change a number of different elements such as volume, and pan. Now we have a full bar long drum rhythm which we can use as the basis for our tune. Try playing around with different combinations and variations of rhythms and sound. In this module we've shown you how to load the Impulse drum machine and create a dance drum beat using live. In the next module we're going to look at how you make a bass line.